what's up guys master styles here back with another eternal evolution video game's been updated let's go see what we got so first today we're going to talk about the event the awakening of miranda also do some summons and we'll see what else we can do All right so first up let's go into the events let's see what we got let's collect this they need to update this i've been said that i'm tired of talking about it Return of the Giant Tower, six day event. Very interested in to see what they do next week. I was saying that they should drop a collab hero banner. There is nine collab heroes in the game. Actually, let's go confirm that before I say nine and it's not nine. Let's see, five and yep, nine. Yep, nine collab heroes in the game. Every third week of the release of a new hero, they could drop one of these heroes on a banner. Just an idea, you know, because I don't know what they're going to do for the third week of the release of the new hero. So let's go back to those events. So we already spoke about the giant tower, Miranda soul crystal, Miranda's copies. And if you want to get some dust, you pick up some dust, but most likely you're going to be picking up her soul crystal. We have to do some summons to acquire that quantum mimic. We have Rebecca and impulse of annihilation, which is great for vanguards. And also Rebecca is good for the hunter team. One of the key heroes rebates the same hero rally. I need to do hero rally and I want to check to see if I have enough advance to do it. I do. I do have enough advance if I do. 80 so i ended up doing that off screen of course in guild expedition okay i wanted to see what this boss is this boss is a uh, tank boss oh oh yeah it's the guy from the what do you call that from twilight lands so cool i thought it would have been more than one of him can we start it and see i just want to see if it's just him okay so it's just him interestingly enough we'll check that out i'll make a video or a separate video around guild expedition so we have tanks vanguards and summoners very interesting there we're in first place but that doesn't really mean anything it's still early right packs limited packs actually let's see what they have if they have anything good of course they'll have miranda and yeah that's pretty much it special events so let's collect that and they could revamp this too what they're giving you All right hero we already know about the new hero and ascension arena my guildmate benzo wanted again good for him i actually made it to the top 16 surprisingly you know it's been a while since i've done that so i am proud of my account for making it to the top 16 i'll take all of that next we'll do the summons and then we'll go over and read miranda's awakening kit so let's go do some summons here i already talked about this in the previous video actually let's grab this because we need that that my miranda's are already immortal five so i'm not gonna pick her i'm gonna go with take and see how we do so i'll do 90 well actually it'll be different actually i don't even think i need to do 90 i could just do 80 what chances are We'll go a little bit over because we do have some access and also the fact that the next new hero don't come out for another what two weeks i want to say let's see two weeks yeah two weeks we got two weeks so that's a lot of time to prepare for the new hero get a 180 get 180 limited ticket so let's get it let's see how we start now i like starting out with purple don't play with me you know what time we're on let's see what we got we start one out with blue. We don't we don't like that around here. But again, starting out with blue is very interesting. Let's see how it goes. This should be 30 here, according to that. And we get it's not looking good. It's not. Sometimes I like to back out, give it a second, let it breathe. I don't know if that actually works. It don't. I just like giving it a second, let it breathe, and then we'll continue. I don't like this five. This five here i know i want to do five separately i don't i don't like that 
I'm not a fan of that. So we're going to do five separate ones. One, two, three, four, five. I, I just don't like that uneven number. It's just weird to me. So here we're going to get take, which, you know, it's all right. One copy of him. I'm hoping I can pull another one, which would be nice. That would be beautiful. I would love that. Or a double. So take awesome energy hero, big damage dealer, summoner killer, large summoning killer. He does it all. Trust me, he's gonna be crazy. What? When he when he gets paired up with Miranda. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Now we talking. Now we talking. See? I see what time of day y'all on. Okay. Double pull on the vid. Okay. For the vid flexing. Okay. Like that. I like that. Loving that. Yes. Can we do more? We we need more of that. Keep that energy going. Hit the like button for the double pull right there. Love that. Nice. Beautiful. Where we at? Let's see. We need. Oh, only 45. What? Oh, man. We need some more. So we need another 45. Is my math off or something? I feel like my math is off. All right. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can get another two more takes. Right. That would be nice. I got to watch my math here. Okay. I have to because I'm feeling like I'm off. So I'm at 20. We need another 15. I got to do. Nah, I'm just going to do the 20. I'm just because I was going to do five separate. We'll just pick up some dust. All right. Here we go. Let's see if we can do it. Nah, they will not do me like that. Come on now. Oh, look at that. Who's that man? Let's go. Three copies. Three copies, man. If y'all want to double up, I'm just saying, you know. Just keep that energy going because to get two doubles in a row. Nah, hey, I am not mad at that. I'm okay with all that. You know that? Let's see where we're at. All right, one more temple. If we can get him here, I'll be ecstatic. I would be ecstatic. Come on, purple. Nah, damn. They're like, you know what? Too much love. That's okay. I'm not mad at that. I am not. And just 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 for the vid one more see this this is a trap don't don't do it it's a trap it is a trap because it's gonna be blue and they want you to do one more and i am hopefully i don't regret this hopefully i don't please don't let me regret this i did oh i was trying to be greedy but it's all good and i'm 30 away from getting another one damn that's how they get you Ooh. Because now, hold on, let's see, let's see here. I'll be one short. Oh man, I could bring him to a, a mortal too. I keep saying awakening. It's a mortal too. Huh. I am thirty away. Let's do some math here. Twilight Lands give me thirty-five, right? This Monday we should be getting another forty. That's. Oh, man, the 70 will still be one. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Screw it. I know I shouldn't. Listen, don't do what I do. Do what I say. That's my motto. If we can get him here, that'll be fine. I'll be done. I'm out. I don't want to have to go all the way. Let's see if we get purple. No. And because I, I ra I'd rather just bring him to two and then call it a day. All right. So here he is. I ended up pulling more than I should have, but that's okay. Because I really get him to immortal two then just have that extra copy sitting there we're not gonna get a double it's okay i get it i get it you're not gonna do that for me but that's okay and also let's see we got 135 Ooh, that's interesting another th another thing i could have just easily done is save my limited tickets was just buy it from here i could have just bought him from here too that was also another option did they switch this what is this same nonsense. Okay. Who who else is over here too? Let me see. I want to see who's in the shop. Um, I don't have any extra copy of those guys, so that that could have been another thing I could have done. But either here nor there, we got take two, immortal two, which is going to be great. Gonna help out with him. I'm saving those gene hybrids. I'm already in preparation for the new hero. Yes, I am. Let's see here. 
I want to do that before I forget, because I always do the talents. I always forget to do this. So let's just grab these. My goodness, we have so much of those soul potions. Wish you could convert them into other things. That would be nice. Or use them to purchase stuff. I don't know, right? But hey, I think we did 135. We did 135. And let's pick up the Miranda Soul Crystal too while we're at it. Because I completely forgot to do that. Max that one out. And then we'll have 35 left. How much can we get? We might have to do that. We might. Let's go see here. And then we'll go into wake up Miranda, right? And excuse me if I call her Rebecca, because I tend to make that mistake a lot. Like their names. And it's not even close, but it's a mistake that I tend to make. Let's go wake her up. All right. So boom. We'll get her to awakening one and we'll go from there. Let's go into these abilities and see what we got. Ooh, she looks great cool love the picture art there like i always say can we change this to the picture art that they have on display for her there so let's see here what is number one number one oh okay, number one is always the same increase in hp attack and defense 15 percent increase we also have damage amp damage reduction this is where it comes in oh wow it's right it's three so we get that. So it says Miranda's max HP is increased by 30%. Love that because she needs that compound of life. Additionally selects one target with the highest attack. So now it's three. If you already have her at EX30 and 150 accuracy. So we're actually going to bring her to Awakening 3. Like I promised. If you watch my previous video. So we only need one here. And another one. And I have to wait to go any further because of the lack of resources, right? So we can do this. I'll do this one on the right, just in case. And that's 200. Okay, we're fine. We're cool. We're cool. And we're cool. And I, I am going to do the... I am going to do Heroes Rally. So I don't have to worry about getting dust. So I'll end up getting some more. She don't really need that one. But we'll just do it for the sake of the vid, right? So... Now it'll be three people interested to see what that is. This is the ultimate here where Miranda applies a protective feel in the selected area that lasts seven seconds. When activated, allies gain a shield equal to 50%, 50% of Miranda's max HP. Wow. Ally heroes in the field takes 50% less damage from enemies outside the field. And so I... Energy hunters, they work well with that because they tend to sit within that shield. So that's pretty awesome. Again, assassins need an awakening. So you know it's coming, right? Ally hunter, energy heroes, and Miranda herself are immune to knockdown. We already knew that. Effect and gain two. Two. Since when is it two? It said three in the patch notes. Gain two layers of light barrier while in the field. Keyword in the field. The hero's damage taken at one time can't exceed 8% of her max HP. Wasn't it 15 before? Just saying. Things are changing. Each time you receive damage, one layer of light barrier is consumed. Light barrier from different targets can be stack prioritizing the effect with the highest level so i'm guessing that's saying that if you have rebecca then it would only be five it won't be it won't stack on top of it like i was originally saying where it'd be eight or you know it being seven so it's just going to be five you're not going to get more it's going now i understand what that means all right so down here we get some additional accuracy Critical damage reduction, of course, not bad there. Did they change these? No, they don't change these. These are the same. They need to change these. These should be unique to the particular hero. So let's go here. This one here is a resonant feel enhancement. Enemies lose 100 energy or rage every three seconds in the area of the 
protective field. Three seconds. Huh. Interesting. That says the number of layers of light barrier from this skill has been increased from two to four. Okay. So even if you're still running Rebecca, it's still only going to be five, but that's not bad. Okay. So this is the overload compound skill of enhancement. The shield amount received by allies is increased by 10%. So now it's 60%. What? Oh my goodness. And in PVP, she becomes a six hero. Wow. Very interesting there. Overall, in terms of looking at this, you want to get her to Immortal 2. If you don't have her there, that's how you access the Awakening 7. Mine's is already at Immortal 5. So, you know, for me, getting her to Awakening 7 is a must. I'm leaning more towards energy. Hunters would be great. This would be a great addition for hunters. Don't get me wrong. But that this right is it here no the ultimate right where you gain shield equal to 50 percent of Miranda's max hp 50 percent, and then when you get to awakening seven it jumps up to 60 percent. that is interesting again the one person that i am more concerned about when it comes to all of this right is this guy him here because when it comes to anpu here you need to understand that with him his ultimate reduces your max hp where is it at this this one right here this this, this is the the thing that i'm concerned about i think the shield would actually nullify this a little bit i'm not don't quote me on that I have to do some testing to see. So it says Soul Shock reduced max HP of the target hit by 40% of damage, right? And that's what tends to happen where why the summoner teams can take you out so easily because you cannot exceed that amount. And he does his ultimate twice. Well, actually, this is not connected to the ultimate. This is something completely different. But once he casts that skill and you get hit, Pretty much what happens is your max HP is now reduced by 40%, which is nuts. So I'm hoping that the shield from Miranda can help out with that. I want to see what this guy can do. I actually want to see because I'm very interested. Let's hop over here to not here, this right here, because I want to see his damage. Because again, you know, I'm getting attacked a lot by our boy. Let's go attack him. I want to see how how he does here let's see so he's in the guardian state he's supposed to take reduced damage and jack city didn't kill did he kill they didn't kill we lost we already lost we lost this oh okay we won i know you're like how will you determine if you win or lose it's determined by daniel if we kill daniel then we win so watch the shield so the max hp is locked off i'm just looking solely at wami game or oh, can't see his health there. Okay, thing is dead. And who's in front of us? I th I think he's a little bit tankier. Well, actually, I got a bet. I got a good way to go find out if he's actually tankier or not. So we won that one. Interestingly enough, when it comes to Arena, when I attack him, I win. When he attacks me, he wins. I I don't get it. But let's go to here. Give me a second here. Who are the bonuses? Oh, they brought back Jack. Perfect. I like having some summoners over here. So we'll bring you. You. We're going to grab him too. We're going to need it for the next part. And let's just put up summoners. The rally here, here, here. And um, it's funny because you can actually pick. Did you know you could actually pick multiples of the same hero? There's a reference here. But let's get the tanks too because we're going to need panda and ray we'll take all of them and put walls support for our support we need purin and I'm not gonna bring miranda just quite yet purin and yeah so we'll do the tank team there that's perfect so let's just run through this one real quick we should be able to beat this fairly easily let's pull up our summoner team here and take out i don't know why always defaults to that Let's take out um, 
who do we take out? Daniel? Really? <laughs> oh, actually, I don't know. No. Nah. We'll run, we'll run Piran just for the heck of it. Let's put them there. I just wanted to run through this real quick because, again, I like to control him and her because Amat in the back is sometimes hard to get, very hard to reach because of where Amat is. It's just so annoying. So I just want to go through this real quick because I want to see can Wamigan actually tank some damage, right? Because again, that was my problem. I was complained about him being, I know this we're supposed to be talking about Miranda and stuff, but she's awake in three. Yeah, come on. She's not really doing much. Nothing new there. We'll talk about her in a second. I just want to get to the Wamigan part because that's the one that I invested a lot in and I'm frustrated about the fact that he's not working as he's supposed to with all the damage reduction that I have on him. He should be easily. Can y'all hurry up and kill? Oh, I'm on. There we go. That's what we'll take it out. No, just take forever. Oh, dead. No, still alive. How? Don't know. All right, perfect. Let's go. So now, granted, this is not 11. 11 is a different type of monster compared to this one. The summoners here should be able to beat it, but we're not talking about the summoners, right? Let's hop over to the tanks. I need to put thing in there too. So we need Wom. I'm gonna take you out. We're gonna throw Wom and uh, Caravan. I will right, we'll keep that for right now because I just want to see. Actually, I want him to be. I'm gonna put him up front by himself and see what he does. Hopefully, I don't lose this. Let's see the first hit. Uh huh. Okay. Because before, when, at 11, that one little kick that Barag does instantly kill him. And look, look at this. He's already in trouble here. Am I controlling him? No. He's doing his own thing. Right? 10 is much easier. Jesus, why is he so big? Is that his regular size? Oh, he was already bigger. Oh, I was about to say. See, we lost our support there. Don't like that. Again, Wamigan seems... I don't know. I would have to. I would have to test it out at eleven. He still seems squishy to me. He still does. Well, I'm not running the damage reduction on him. So let's let's switch over to the damage reduction and see. Actually, but I don't want him to die. That's the problem because I because they could they could easily take him out. So let's see here. All right. So Wamigan, he does his move. They throw Ray over there. Caravan would have been a better choice. Throw him over there. Do they even get the invincibility? I think he's already dead already. I'm not, I don't, I'm not liking it. Not liking it at all. Not at all. So let's switch here and see. I think I have to manual this. This is the annoying part. Like, I shouldn't have to manual this. This is 10. 11, I get that. That makes perfect sense. But Wamigan's over there. I don't even think they get. The, they gain the invincibility from Fiona. Where did Wamigan go? Oh, he got pulled in by... What's his name? Barag. Barag is my problem here. He is annoying. Okay. All right. We get bigger. Thing is dead. Is that Barag? No. Yeah, Barag is dead. So it's pretty much over for them. Leo, I don't. I don't really care about Leo. Leo, he he does big damage. Don't get me wrong. But once Barag dies, it's over for them. So again, Wamigan well, still seem a little squishy, a little bit for me, but. Got that done. That's not bad there. Another, I'm not, since we're already talking about it, what I normally do in this situation, I actually use, I'm going to give you a little crash course here. Who I actually use, let's take, actually, I think I ended up taking him out, keeping him in. And I actually, I don't have him here, but Masrani. Masrani works better here than Piran because, again, the problem is your Ampu. Your Ampu is most likely going to die. And if you run Masrani, Masrani can help out with reducing the damage. But another person that might be good here, which I am actually going to use. Let's see. Let's see what she can do. Let's go to grab her real quick because we want to see what she can do. Is she going to help out? Right. We talk about her. So let's put her in there see if she helps. Switch over and put Jax here and take out Amat. She's not going to really help. And let's see. 
Let's see if the, the injections work. So three injections. Jax didn't get it. I don't think Jax needed extra attack anyways because, again, he does damage based off of HP. So Dorelli gets the other injection. Very interested to see the damage reduction here. Oh, okay. All right. Which is good. Jax need to... Oh, actually, I need to control Miranda because, again, we need to move it over to place it over him. How is her healing? That's the other thing, too. I feel like increasing her healing would definitely help. And this is bad here. Yeah, see that? That is bad. That is not good. Ampu's in trouble. But he does take reduced damage. That thing didn't even touch him. He got back up to full health. And he got it done. Miranda there wasn't bad. And you can only imagine when she gets to higher awakening levels. For me, Pyrrhon here isn't great. She's just not because she doesn't heal enough. Yes, she does the increase in damage and damage reduction, but healing is the key here because the AOE from this boss definitely ruins everything. So let's just let's just continue, right? Here, same situation. I'm thinking if we could do increased healing here, it would help. Not sure if that works there. So let's see. Let's put the shield here and timing is everything because AOE is the big damage. That's what does the most damage to you. That's what you have to worry about the most. And Jax is dead. I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not going to put you out to that anymore. Anything else worth bringing her through? We'll, I'll do that off screen. I'm thinking, let's see. There's endless battles. None of that. This there. It's not there. I wish this was open or that was open. But good thing about her Awaken 3 is that now you can do the compound of life into the injection into three people, which is pretty cool. And they are immune to knockdown effects, right? No, it's not. It's at five. Five is where you become immune to knockdown effects. Question. Quick question. Does the light barrier only work with energy? Let's see. Uh, yeah. And Miranda, Miranda herself gains. Okay. So the other other heroes don't become immune to knockdown effects. Ally Hunter Energy and Miranda herself are immune to knockdown effects. So only we to have to test that out, but. Five is ways away. We'll probably have to wait another week or so because there's no way to get no more of these here. No way. And I'm, I'm close. I need 12, but that's another thing that they need to do. They need to come out with another way to acquire the shards. That will definitely help out. So actually, let me go pick up these Ampu over here because he was added to the store if you don't already know that let's pick that up we get 33 so you know most people have been saving way more than me i just finished up masrani there and i wanted to make sure i did that guild expedition not much we can do there and that is that i'll talk to my guild mates in a little bit figure out how we're going to go about that anything else that i missed did i miss anything not really i think that is that for the update again can't really show you much when it comes to where is she miranda we'll bump her up one right two three sure here we go can't really show you much other than you know what i showed you because again she's not Awaken five or beyond that if you have the ability to bring her to awaken the seven on day one i would suggest it if you, especially if your energy team is lacking or have a good hunter team but overall just even just awaken three is awesome because again her max hp is increased by 30 percent and then she also gives an additional injection to another person on the battlefield which is now three people that will have 20 percent increase in attack that's amazing so 
I'm going to do some testing. Again, I'm also based off of that fight with the summoner boss there. Healing. Healing is also another thing I was thinking. So what I could do too, because again, resonance is great, but I think I might end up moving this set to Miss Ronnie and take Miss Ronnie's. For the sole reason, I'll show, I'll show you why I am saying what I'm saying. Where's Maz? Maz is right here. Maz's set is, you know, done. I did a lot of work on it. But what I'm looking at is the gain on max HP when casting healing skills. Does she heal that much? Increase it by 15% and recover 5% of our own max HP. Does she heal? How does her healing work? That's a great question. So the shield itself does not provide healing. Where does she heal? Is this it? Right here, common skill, which, yep, exactly. So here, and that's damage. And this is a passive. So her healing, her common skill is healing. So I'm gonna have to do some testing and see how much that will affect and it's a here two heroes so she heals two heroes with the lowest hp so again healing is in her kit and down here it says the skill has a 40 percent chance based on accuracy to regenerate 50 percent more hp okay the number of targets increase okay so series three once you get her to exclusive 20 i want to say or no, explosive 10. Most people already should have her AX, EX30. So again, I am thinking about, because again, the, re the my reasoning behind when it comes to the gears of switching her gears from this to Masrani's gears is because she already cast that ultimate in the beginning. But I would have to wait till she gets to five to see if when she casts it in the, in the beginning, is it considered a alt or is it just a separate shield so until i get to that we'll find out or if you bring it if you already brought her to five let me know down in the comments i appreciate that so without further ado so if you if you're new to my content make sure you hit that subscribe button and for those that's been rocking with me make sure you hit the like button don't forget to turn on post notifications and also don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the awakening of Miranda. Without further ado, I want to thank you for watching. Till the next video, peace.